Hello everybody, this is the iPhone channel here and today is going to be a special video due to the fact yesterday I did buy four iPhones to actually review and today is actually a raining day as you can see therefore I'm actually going to do a 12 hour DoorDash challenge I'm going to accept every order for 12 hours and see how much I make I currently have 45% on my Tesla and I'll show you guys the number of miles I have Now due to the fact we're starting a new day I'm actually going to reset trip A well, trip B is actually how many miles I've driven on the Tesla since I bought. So why not I'm going to do trip A and then I'm going to calculate the total energy in kilowatt hours by the price per kilowatt hour to actually show you guys the electric price. I'm actually going to be using mostly superchargers and uh, as you can see the average energy distance. So we're now starting at zero and uh, 1150. So I am expected to end by 1150 p.m. I'm actually going to start around Harvard Square because that's where I live, so um, why not? First order. Well, due to the fact it's raining, you would not find many moped drivers and many moped drivers in the past few years have actually overtaken the Boston area. They've actually oversaturated the DoorDash market, but it is actually fine because at least they have a job. But the thing is, why not? I'm actually going to schedule up until midnight. I'm actually going to run like four zones. The four zones labeled is very busy. So uh, here it is. Okay, guys, here's the first order I'm gonna take. Unfortunately, you have to blur my location. I don't wanna dox myself. And over here it is the restaurant. Okay, guys, it just got two orders here. Now to make this more hospitable, I'm actually going to stop for 30 minutes. It's not gonna count against my 12 hours to actually charge because I'm currently at 45% battery now and I do have to charge in some time so um, here are my two orders and uh, for the Chick-fil-A in Boston I do have to decline unfortunately because um, I was actually kicked out of that Chick-fil-A in Boston so um, therefore that's kind of an exception but uh, I'm actually going to deliver these two orders okay guys first recipient unfortunately I cannot show you guys the house but uh, I'm actually going to deliver it. Luckily, that second order is actually to a next door apartment, so um, that's kind of convenient. Okay, guys, the total did come out to $9, but it is so hilarious where a stack order could have a base pay of $2. Yes, about the same as one order. But luckily, this order is only about one mile, so $9 is not too bad. Okay guys, the second order, I'm actually going to accept. Okay guys, second restaurant is here. I'm actually going to deliver to East Boston and then drive back to downtown Boston. Because I do believe downtown Boston actually has more orders. Plus there is actually a peak pay promo in downtown Boston at this point. Okay guys, here's the second order. I'm actually going to walk to my car and then see you guys in Eastie. Unfortunately, the recipient does not show up, but I'm going to confirm the delivery. And over here it is the payouts. There's actually a $1 tip. And uh, fun fact, the toll from downtown Boston to East Boston is actually about $1.25 or $1 or something. But I'm actually going to pause the dash and uh, I'm going to drive to downtown. Unfortunately, such bridge is closed, so I'm actually going to schedule myself for the um, review zone. Okay, at least this order is desirable, so I'm just going to accept it. Okay, guys, over there is a the restaurant, and I've only driven 7 miles so far, but I actually earned around $17.25. Okay, guys, after about 10 minutes of waiting, I finally got the order here. Unfortunately, I could not show you guys the person's name. I do not want to get sued. So I'm going to drive to the recipient's house, which is kind of close, about 1 or 2 miles away. Okay guys, after a 5 minute drive, I finally got to the house and I'm gonna drop it off. And of course we're gonna hit complete delivery and uh, the payout is $9, yes! It is actually quite decent, so I'm gonna wait for another order. Basically this is only about a mile away, I'm not even joking. Because this is about half a mile, I'm just gonna accept it. Luckily now I'm already at the supermarket. 
I'm actually going to get some food and then I'm going to head to the customer which is about half a mile away okay guys here's the order I'm actually going to go into the car and then drive for five more minutes I might have annoyed a few drivers by actually parking in the middle of the street but I'm actually going to hand the order to customer confirm and uh, actually the order is uh, five dollars fifty but at least it is still a really really short distance so I'm just gonna wait here for a sec and yes we've only done like eight miles or something but I do believe and of course I'm going to take this order definitely it is quite okay and it would route me to downtown Boston and sorry for the interruptions, but the payout is $31.75 for the past one and a half hours. Now over there is the restaurant and as you can see, that is the cyber truck. Okay guys, I just got the order. I'm now going to cross the street and I'm going to drive six miles to Boston. So basically, uh, because this house is actually near a supercharger, therefore I'm going to have to stop at a supercharger, not only to charge my car, but also for lunch break. I'm not sure if it will count against my time, but I'll see. This is another handed to me order, which tells me to leave at the door. So I'm just going to confirm the delivery was completed. And uh, here's the payout, $10.75 with a $5 tip. So I'm now going to end the dash because it's now 150 and uh, because I'm currently close to supercharger therefore I'm actually going to charge and I'm going to eat lunch okay guys I'm now going to eat at Dave's hot chicken or the halal guys I'm not sure where to eat but I'm now currently charging my car it took like about 15 minutes to drive just one mile to the supercharger and another five minutes to actually go to the supercharger at the sixth floor so basically it is a hellish drive but uh, why not I'm actually going to look for some food okay guys here's my meal and I paid around sixteen dollars for this so why not I'm actually gonna eat and then I'm going to do some more door dashing I'm not sure if I would have to end door dash at around like 12 50 a.m. rather than 11 50 p.m. that's what I'm deciding on so stay tuned Okay guys, it has been an hour since I've stopped DoorDash and as you can see, I've actually driven around 70 miles. I'm actually going to disconnect the charger immediately. I'm actually going to dash until about um, 1 a.m. I'm going to set the dasher and uh, I believe I'm just going to sit here for a bit. I'm now going to go to Dave's Hot Chicken once again. And here it is, Dave's Hot Chicken. Now I'm actually going to switch zones once I arrive at the recipient's house because the recipient, despite also living in the city of Boston, lives in another zone. Well, Boston actually has like two or three zones, I believe so. And eight. Yes, eight zones. The good thing is despite having waited 20 minutes to actually receive my order, I actually walked in and walked out in about like a few seconds which is so fortunate. Okay guys, I'm now going to deliver to the recipient. And after dropping off at the recipient, uh, here's the total payout, $10.75, which is crazy high. Yes, and I'm actually going to switch zones now. It does not matter, it is only one mile. I'm gonna accept this subway order. Drive and here it is the subway in mission hill okay guys here's the order i'm actually going to drive a mile away i'm gonna select hand to customer confirm delivery and as you can see a five dollar payout which is quite decent i'm likely to accept this 15 dollar 50 order this is a double stacked order from um, Sufra Mediterranean when I'm actually going to stop by and actually get two orders which actually takes me to downtown Boston. I got one order ready, now I'm waiting for another order. Okay guys, second order ready, I'm now actually going to um, drive all the way to downtown. 
Okay guys, I'm now going to deliver the first order, the smaller of the two in uh, historic Back Bay. I'm now going to send the second order to the recipient and uh, I'm going to see you guys later with the payout. Let's hit complete delivery and um, here it is, $15.50. I'm now going to drive back to my zone. Guess what? New order's been dropped to town. I'm going to select accept. And luckily, I do not have to deal with Chick-fil-A in Boylston Street. Unfortunately, I'm stuck in traffic, but this is the Times Square, Boston. And over here is, of course, the restaurant duo, the Halal Guys and Dave's Hot Chicken, just like in Dorchester. Here's my order pair, and I'm actually going to go out, and I'm going to try to avoid slippery surfaces. Because it's, of course, raining. I nearly fell twice today. So, um... Over here is the outside, I'm now going to go to Fenway. Okay guys, I'm going to deliver the first order here. Okay guys, second order, I'm now at NEU, Northeastern University. Now I did go to university in Boston, but I actually graduated a few years ago. I actually majored in computer science, but why not I'm actually going to select hand order to customer. It's actually handed the order. And as you can see, I'm currently out of my zone, still out of my zone, but uh, I cannot see the pay, $9.50, it is quite okay, but the base pay is still below $4, which is so surprising, given the restaurant is kind of a bit far from like the universities. I'm definitely going to accept this. Finally, I finally arrived at Wendy's. I'm gonna pick up two orders and then I'm going to drive to Austin Brighton. Now, first delivery finished. I'm actually going to select confirm and uh, I'm actually going to deliver to the second recipient. Now, here's the second delivery. I'm actually gonna leave it here. Okay, guys, confirm and then hand it to the order. And bam, $13.75. I'm now going to accept this as an order. And luckily KFC is reasonably close, so why not I'm actually going to go to KFC first and then to Tintin Buffet. Over here is the second meal. I'm at Tintin Buffet now. And uh, I'm now going to go down to my car over here. And I'm actually going to drive to downtown Boston, yeah. Because both of the orders actually go downtown again. And I will definitely reroute here to actually see what Brockline looks like. Okay guys, I'm now sending the first delivery to this apartment. I'm not going to specify where, because I don't want to dox this person. Okay guys, currently in downtown now. This is the last order I'm going to drop off until I drive back to the zone. So here it is, the building. I'm not going to show you where. Okay guys, second delivery complete. And this is the payout. I'm not even joking. Okay guys, due to the fact this is um, quite high paying, therefore I'm actually gonna take it. In fact, I'm also going to add this order as well. Now here is the Filipino restaurant. I think this one, Pinoy, Cabayan, Filipino Asian cuisine. I'm going to pick up two orders. We got two orders down here, why not? I'm actually going to drive all the way to Mission Hill and Fenway. One of them actually do go to downtown, however. Okay guys, I've already handed the order to recipient and now I'm just going to confirm and complete the delivery. And here is the payout, $15.75, quite nice. And I'm now going to go to Mission Hill. Also, it is now 7 p.m. It's now about 7.14. I'm finally in the second house. And uh, why not? I'm actually going to go out of my card. Yes, as you can see, this is the bag here. The takeout bag for Filipino food. And I'm actually going to go um, outside. I'm sorry if I'm kind of careless in um, handling food. But here it is. And uh, here you go. 
Seven dollars seventy five. Unfortunately, I did lose that two dollar peak pay because DoorDash gave me the order at six forty p.m. right when the peak pay ends. So unfortunately, I will not be getting the two dollars, which is kind of strange. So why not? I'll see you guys when I get to Coolidge Corner, which is about ten minutes away. This is how many miles I've driven so far in today's um, journey, and uh, why not? After a ten minute hiatus, I'm going to resume dash. Over here at Coolidge Corner. This is going to be a long order, but I'm going to accept it because um, it is actually going to take me sort of homish in Cambridge. I'm now in Coolidge Corner, and over here is the Chicolates. I'm actually going to go in and go out. Yes, I'm going to drive like 10 miles something to essentially another city. I'm actually going past Cambridge, past some of you into Medford. I'm not even joking. The drive is going to make you cringe because it is 9.8 miles. After what is a 25 minute drive, I finally arrived in what is more suburban over here. I'm now going to drop the order off and show you guys the payout. Okay guys, a $2 tip. That's kind of okay for one item, especially small item, but many drivers, they don't really appreciate it and they demand like $1 tip per mile. So. That order is at least a $10 tip, and many drivers would take it. And guess what? I also changed zones as well. I did have to log out, because this zone is not as busy as the Boston proper zones. Because in Boston proper, there are basically a ton of restaurants and a ton of orders. I'm still going to accept this $3 order to Dunkin' Donuts no matter what. So accept. Over here is the Dunkin' Donuts in question. I'm now going to go in and then go out. And of course, just as promised, I'm actually going to go out and then back to my car again. Here is where I'm going to be leaving the order. Unfortunately, it is a hand to me order, so I do have to wait. But um, unfortunately, I do not have any patience, so I do have to confirm. But luckily, I did message the um, recipient. And over here is the payout. Luckily, um, this area does have, um, you guessed it, a plaza nearby. This is quite ironic because now I do return to Boston once again. So accept. Okay guys, door one out of two, Panda Express. I'm not going to go in. And then go out, yes. I'm not driving all the way to Prudential Center which has no parking unfortunately but I'll see whether or not I could actually park there legally because I know it is a hot spot for, you guessed it, parking tickets I finally arrived at the Star Market in Huntington Avenue famous for having no parking over here and I'm actually going to look for two items over here are some of my groceries and now I'm going to return to the car Luckily, the customer did add a $4 tip, but uh, let's confirm the delivery. And here's the payout. Quite crazy, yeah. As you can see here, but ironically, downtown Boston is not even as busy as Cambridge, which is kind of crazy. I'm just going to hit accept and then go. I'm now finally at JP Licks over here. I'm just going to... Um, Pick up the food and then deliver and of course I do have to use the restroom at JP Licks. Of course, here's the food. Sorry, the drinks. It is currently really cold out, but why not? I'm just going to complete delivery. Confirm delivery is completed. And uh, here's the payout, $6.50. Quite a decent tip for a short distance. And yes, this is the lowest payout, but I'm still going to take it. And of course, over there is the subway. Over here is the order. Judging by the fact this is a $2 order, there is definitely zero tip. But why not? I'm just going to deliver. This goes all the way to Roxbury. I arrived at the recipient's house and uh, it is definitely one of the strangest orders. And what's even stranger is the recipient is not home according to some of their roommates. 
but why not let's click complete delivery and confirm and here it is the pay is two dollars yes no tip And ironically, in this area, there's actually $2 peak pay, which is kind of unfortunate. I only received $2 instead of 4 But whatever, that is the um, result of accepting every single order. Unfortunately, there has not been any orders yet, which is kind of strange. I've been waiting like 10 minutes now. Just received an offer for $12.25. I'm going to accept it. But this takes me out of my zone, I'm sorry, could I see anything now? What I mean is my eyes are currently spicy now, sorry. Now ironically that Conviction Chicken and Wings is actually a ghost kitchen, just like um, Mr. Beast Burger and over here is actually TGI Fridays. I'm actually going to go in and over here is the order. I'm actually going to drive for 15 minutes to reach the recipient. Okay guys, I'll select handed order to customer and confirm to complete delivery. And here's the payout, uh, $12.25. I'm still within the zone. Fortunately, this is actually Brookline part of Chestnut Hill and not the Newton part. Remember, Chestnut Hill actually is located in three different cities. It is sort of a CDP on its own. Unfortunately, because it is now after 10 p.m. and everything closes, therefore I do have to drive. Basically, I do have to drive to either Alston or Brighton to even get anything. What makes this worse is there's a lot of traffic around here. I don't know why. I think it's some Boston College event. This is actually in Newton. Yes, Newton. A suburban area at like um, 10.45 p.m. So you don't really expect traffic at this time and uh, unfortunately there are no orders so I'm just gonna wait but uh, I'm going to end my dash at 1 a.m. yes 1 a.m. due to the fact I actually hung out at Dave's Chicken for too long about an hour unfortunately I could not show you guys any footage of me accepting because there's actually police traffic blockades and stuff so uh, I'm scared I might get um, stopped by the police if I were to show a video so here it is I'm now going to Miyuki Sushi and this actually goes all the way to downtown Boston and um, the payout is uh, $16.75 I just arrived at Miyuki Sushi now I'm going to pick up an order and drive to downtown over here is the order now I'm going to take this order to the car and actually going to drive all the way to downtown I'm now finally at the recipient's place, which is actually in sort of a narrow street, kind of like in Europe and stuff. So why not? I'm actually going to drop off the order. Okay, guys, complete the delivery and uh, here's the payout. Quite okay tip, but um, now I'm actually going to switch zones to downtown. This might be the most insane order, so I'm just going to hit accept. Okay guys, it is now around 11.40 p.m. I'm now going to walk to the Insomnia Cookies to pick up three orders. Yes, three orders. And do you believe it is actually here? Here are my three orders. Now I'm actually going to go to each of the three houses. Actually handing the order to the um, recipient. And uh, as you can see, I'm actually going to blur this out. Okay guys, I'm now at the recipient's place. I'm just going to drop this off. And finally, last house. I'm actually going to deliver the third and final order. And let me show you guys my payout. As you can see. Finally, a high paying order. I'm actually going to take this. This is my final order. Here is the very last restaurant. This is actually, you guessed it, a ghost kitchen. Here are my last two orders. Both orders go to the same building, but go to two different people. I'm not even joking. I know it's kind of weird, but uh, why not? I'm actually going to go all the way to um, the West. When I mean the West, I do mean Newton. 
After finding out the two recipients don't know each other, I do believe this is the biggest coincidence in history. So I'm going to confirm delivery is completed and here's the payout. Yes. Basically, I'm just going to go home now and show you guys the prices. And to reiterate, this is the total mileage before going home. After going home, I'll add in six more miles. Okay guys, here's the conclusion. I made about $17.25 on the first leg of the journey. I actually went to the Tate Bakery and Cafe in Cambridge and I actually delivered to two different recipients. Well, these two recipients are actually adjacent to each other. And then afterwards, I went to um, Tea Holic Bubble Tea and Coffee, where I ended up in Boston. And then from there, I actually um, went to La Hacienda and um, Camellas Market, and then El Peñol before actually going to the mainland of Boston in Dorchester. After arriving in Dorchester, I took a one hour break. And then after that one hour break ended, I. Um, immediately restarted the DoorDash and um, went to several different places including Dave's Hot Chicken, S Subway, Sufra Mediterranean, the Halal Guys and Dave's Hot Chicken once again, Wendy's, KFC, Tintin Restaurant, Pinoy Caballon and of course um, Chicken Lattes and then afterwards I actually went all the way to Medford where I actually had to change zones to the Cambridge zone and then afterwards I took a Dunkin Donuts order and a Pan Express order and Star Market order before actually being rerouted to downtown Boston once again and afterwards I spent time at uh, JP Leaks and Subway well the Subway order is the most mediocre order of the day because it is actually a $2 order and then afterwards I switched zones once again I got two offers at um, Conviction Chicken, which is actually at TGI, and of course Miyoki Sushi. And then afterwards, I drove all the way to downtown Boston and uh, went to Insomnia Cookies, where I delivered to three different apartment units. And then afterwards, I got two orders. These two offers are actually from the same restaurant, from Ghost Kitchen. It is actually in Roxbury. And uh, it is actually grilled cheese bar and pasta tannins where I actually drove all the way to Newton and then ended the day there. And this is the most crucial part. Even though I made $264.46 before expenses, now you have to factor in expenses, which does include fuel and electric. Well, because mine is a Tesla Model 3, hence I would consider my cost to be electric. We would consider insurance costs tolls remember DoorDash does not reimburse tolls maintenance and of course parking tickets and taxes well despite the fact I'm not a CPA aka certified public accountant nor am I a financial analyst I feel like I'm kind of qualified to answer this question because I actually did take several economics courses during university and also I took AP microeconomics when I was at secondary school so why not let's start starting with fuel and electric I actually charge using the superchargers on that day but usually i would go to cambridge municipal charges where it actually would cost around 15 cents per hour plus 19 cents per kilowatt hour and because um, the charging prices is actually 44 cents per kilowatt hour and because i drove 112.9 miles therefore my average watt consumption was 270 what hours per mile but if we were to calculate everything we would find out we're about 30 kilowatt hours of usage and um, with the prices let's consider um, the 44 cents per kilowatt hour then we would have a charging price of 13 dollars 41 cents as for insurance because uh, Geico actually quoted a $200 per month Tesla insurance due to the fact I'm under 25. Therefore, my cost is around 6.57 per day. And as for tolls, I actually went through four different um, tunnels. The Callahan Sumner Tunnel and of course um, I-90. Both ways, 
my total total cost is actually four dollars seventy one after accounting for the one cent per transponder per day and now as for maintenance let's guesstimate it is about 10 cents per mile you would see the cost later and as for ownership I actually bought this Tesla Model 3 with cash at $25,000 before taxes and as you guys know Massachusetts does levy a 6.25% tax rate and even though I did not pay any interest rates most people would probably have an interest rate but I actually do qualify for an 8% interest rate according to the dealer but most people would qualify for maybe 10 or 11% interest rate for used cars because interest rates now are quite astronomical and um, basically with this I factored the cost to be about $35,000 or very close to $35,000 after an 8% interest and if you were to divide everything that's about like $17.50 actually sorry 17 cents per mile 17 and a half cents per mile and as for parking tickets I did not receive any parking tickets no moving violations even though I nearly received them because of an illegal turn basically the last order remember the um, ghost kitchen I did make an illegal turn to a do not enter sign and therefore I was nearly ticketed but my most recent DoorDash related parking ticket was seven months ago for $90 no stopping or standing and of course um, because I'm actually in the tech industry as a remote software and IT consultant CS researcher at my university and of course um, an independent mobile app developer and youtuber therefore I treat DoorDash sort of like a hobby where I actually go outside have some fresh air bike around Boston and stuff explore Boston and even drive around and see some quirky neighborhoods where I would never typically go and therefore actually received quite a few parking tickets here and there but as for parking tickets zero now moving on now here's the more important bit taxes excluding the distance between the starting point and the first restaurant and the final recipients dorm to my apartment the total distance is 106.7 miles and the IRS stated the uh, standard deduction rate is about 67 cents per mile as of this year and because $264.46 is my income let's um, subtract that number by um, 106.7 times 67 cents and then we get $192.97 for taxable income and because the tax rate for the 1099 is 15.3% therefore we're being taxed $29.52 and uh, now we have to subtract to find a profit and if we were to go through all of these to iterate through all of these then we will find out our net income is $179.27 and our new pay per mile is actually $1.59 per mile and a new pay per hour let's calculate it with the 12 hours 10 minutes it will be about $14.73 but with the 12 hours 45 minutes it will be $14.06 yes that's correct now here's some remedies instead of actually using a car in Boston because cars actually do incur parking tickets and of course more expensive gas and electric prices why not just spend on a moped or an e-bike because you would save a ton of money by actually buying a moped and e-bike plus you don't really have to deal with the Boston rush hour traffic so you might even get to recipients faster and make recipients happier if you want to use an e-bike or moped so that's kind of my recommendations my two cents here so thank you guys for watching please give a big thumbs up subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys soon